I am Slick Nick, your personal certified Enneagram coach. And here's the epiphany that I had. And by the way, if you want to buy this book off of Amazon, click that link. It'll change your life. It's helped change my life, I'll tell you, to be able to understand myself so much better. So here's the epiphany I have. I perceive that Enneagram Ones think I'm weird. They don't know how to process me. They don't know how to deal with me. I'm too much for them. So I want to break this down a little bit, but this is my understanding. I know Enneagram Ones, and most of them are female, but they just kind of a little bit standoffish for me. It's like, because my energy level is here, and Ones, they're positive, but they're more reserved and just, Okay, well, that, that's, that's interesting. That guy's got his own thing going on. I think I kind of freak out Enneagram 1s. Now, it's interesting because Enneagram 1s and 7s are connected. Enneagram 7s, when we are stressed at our worst, we become the worst version of, of a Enneagram 1, which is the perfectionist. We make horrible perfectionists. So when we're angry, and I've lived this way for years of my life in my 30s, I'm, I'm past that part of my life now, fortunately. But... When sevens are stressed, they become very black and white. There's no in between, there's no negotiation. It's this way or the other, and I'm judging everybody who's not like me. I lived that way for many years in my 30s. I was going through a lot of stuff that I didn't know how to unpack, and thanks to me getting my Enneagram uh, certification and diving deeper now, I've understood, and I've made videos about that. But I am connected to ones, and ones are connected to me, because at their best, Enneagram ones, the perfectionists become me. They become the fun guy because at their best, they can relax and go on vacation and, and have fun. So we're connected. Ones and sevens definitely are. But, and it's funny because my wife, she has a one wing. She's a nine, the peacemaker. But ultimately, she's got that wing going on. Absolutely. I mean, she's the kind of person who our bed has to be made every single morning before we before she could leave the house. And Every single Saturday, we got to clean the entire house, which that's fine. It's not a bad thing to keep things orderly and tidy. Okay, that, that's fine. But personality-wise, I don't think that if my wife was a true Enneagram One, that we'd be married. I don't think that the chemistry would be there. The chemistry between sevens and nines, especially if the male is the seven and the female is the nine, you can look it up. That's a good match, specifically. But sevens and ones, it's just not quite filling in the gaps there. It's just, there's the chemistry isn't quite there. Now granted, that's not to say that there's not happily married couples that are, you know, the seven with the one. It's not to say that they're not, because you think, oh, well, in theory, if the best version of a, of a one is a seven, that would make sense. Yeah, but the worst version of a seven is a one, so I, I could see how that could be a problem. So, now I think that's that's interesting. That's my perspective, but can you imagine if you were me and you had my energy level? You're enthusiastic and you're assertive because you've got the eight wing. You can understand not everybody could appreciate this energy all the time. You could understand that. Certain people, it would just be too much for them. And it's funny because I would hang out with a group of guys. We get coffee or go out for dinner sometimes. And I tone things down. I'm not this energetic when I'm with them because they're all a little bit more reserved. And they... I, I try to match them at their level. I try to become a little bit more of a nine and match the level. But for most people, this is the energy level they get. But I don't think ones quite know what to do with me. Can anybody add to this? I'd love to know more. Your comments belong right here.